Hey there followers, Dave here from CNC 3D again. Today we're going to be doing a really simple video on how to use one of our router adapters. Specifically we're going to be using it on one of these Makita trimmers that we have attached to our U-carve machine here. So let's go through and get started. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that there's this little red button on the front of this Makita trimmer. So this button here actually locks this in and stops it spinning so it's easy for you to get this nut off. Now at the moment we currently have this on here quite loose so we're just going to push this button in and remove this nut so we can have a look at the collet and nut assembly. So we'll just press this in and we'll loosen this off. Now let's just pop this collet out of here. Okay, so let's have a quick look here at this. This is the standard Makita collet that comes with a Makita RTO 700CX. Now this is actually a quarter inch collet, which means you can put end mills in there which are a quarter inch in diameter, but every now and then you have to use an end mill that has a smaller shank size. So when you actually have a look at this collet, you can see that it goes up inside the Makita and then as you tighten this nut on the bottom of it, it adds some compression onto here, which holds the actual end mill in place. So what we'll do, we'll have a look at our little sleeve adapters that we have here. So specifically today, we're taking a look here at one of our turbo cut quarter to one eighth adapters. And it looks like this. And so the way that it works is you'll notice that there's two sides to this adapter. One side here is silver and the back part is black. So the black part here basically goes inside the router and your end mill goes inside this hole just here. So we're gonna grab one of our 1 8 two flute straight cut end mills that we have here. So it has a 1 8 shank on the back of this end mill. So let's just go ahead and insert this. So the black side always goes into the actual router itself. So the silver side is where we're gonna be inserting our end mill. So let's just put that into here. And what you wanna make sure is when you do insert it into this, make sure that you don't actually put the cutting flute inside this adapter. Always make sure that you're only ever grabbing the actual shank itself. Now that we've done that, we're gonna grab our little actual collet that goes inside the router and we're gonna sleeve that onto the back here like this. And that is pretty much now ready to go to insert into our Makita router. So we'll grab our little nut here and we'll put that onto here. And let's just go ahead and put this into our Makita. So the first thing that we need to do is press this little red button in on your Makita. And then we can start to actually tighten it on there. Okay, now we've got it in there nice and loose. Okay, so now we have this finger tightened in here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our two black spanners that would have been provided with your kit from Makita. And we are now going to go ahead and tighten this up so that it is safe to operate. Now you will notice this little red dot here. We don't recommend using this red dot on here for tightening up the actual router itself. So we're just gonna go ahead and put our big spanner onto the bottom nut and then take our smaller spanner and we're just going to slide that on here and just tighten that up. It doesn't need to be too tight, it just needs to be nice and secure in there. We'll just give it a quick spin by hand and just make sure that it looks like it's spinning straight. Once you're happy with it, we're pretty much good to turn this on and watch it actually go. Now what we're looking for here is we want to check to make sure that this end mill is actually going straight up and down and you don't see it wobbling from side to side. So let's just put this on a medium speed of about four and we'll turn it on. And that looks pretty good. Let's just have a bit of a close up on this one. And 
as you can see, that's actually looking very good there. So that's in there nice and safe, and now you're able to go through and cut your jobs with a smaller end mill. Thanks for your support, guys. Have a great day.